just like to say this, you know, the, the whole Bible ends, it concludes with one gigantic lampstand. Did you know that, Ty? The whole Bible ends with one colossal, gigantic lampstand. It's called the New Jerusalem. It's a mountain of gold. And it says that God is the light and the Lamb of God is the lamp diffusing the light, making the light of God so pleasant, so comfortable, so approachable that we could be in the presence of God. This is how the whole Bible ends, with a giant lampstand. So when we come to this matter of the lampstand in Zechariah, we have to realize this is how the whole Bible concludes. And if we know what makes it to the end, that should affect us in our life today. Okay, listen, I know a brother. He came to UT and to study, and he changed his major six times before he graduated. So he was here longer than the average student. (laughs) Eventually, he got a degree in civil engineering, and he became a very excellent civil engineer. But listen, if he had only known that he was going to be a civil engineer, he could have saved a lot of time, he could have saved a lot of money, he could have saved a lot of stress. Uh, Is it stressful being in college? Yes. I don't know, but (laughs) it's it's definitely expensive, right? (laughs) So you don't want to extend your time uh, because you don't know what the conclusion is, right? Well, we know how the Bible ends. And so it's... uh, it pays to, to uh, pay attention to this matter, the lampstand, right? So I put here at the top the six verses where Zechariah is shown this lampstand. And I wonder if I could have a few brothers come up. Um, okay, how about you three brothers? Come on up here. <clears throat> yeah, good. We have a Joshua. There was a Joshua here. <laughs> and a Zerubbabel. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Let's start reading. How about the sisters read verse 1? Go ahead. Then the angel who spoke with me returned and roused me as a man is roused from his sleep. Okay, number 2, brothers. And he said to me, What do you see? And I said, I see that there is a lampstand all over the world. Okay, stop right there. Come up here, Joshua. Okay, here's a lampstand, okay? All of gold. Yeah, go ahead. Actually, just hold your hands up like this with three fingers on each hand. (laughs) Because there were seven lamps, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. (laughs) And then it goes on. With its bowl on top. Okay, Rodney, come come behind him here. Stand on this stair and hold hold a bowl up here like that. Okay, so he saw a bowl on top. And it's seven lamps upon it with seven pipes for each of the lamps on top of it. How about uh, Kyle and one more brother? Carl, come on up here. Kyle, you can stand right here and put your fingers like that. These are the pipes going into the lamps. And it's Carl. Okay. Very good. You see, this bowl is full of oil, and there's pipes going from the bowl into the lamps to supply the lamps. So uh, the angel says to Zechariah, what do you see? And he describes, I see a lampstand, I see a bowl on top, I see seven pipes uh, uh, feeding these seven lamps. Oh, and then there's two more things. There's two olive trees. How about you two brothers? Come on up. There's one on the left and one on the right. That's verse 3, right? (laughs) Two olive trees. Okay. How about the brothers? Read verse 4. Can you imagine? He sees this. What are these? What in the world are these? (laughs) But look at the divine answer. Okay, sisters, read verse 5. And the angel who spoke with me answered and said to me, Do you not know what these are? And I said, No, sir. You, You don't know what these are? 
This is the most important thing in the whole Bible. This is how the whole Bible ends. You don't know what these are? No, sir. I don't. <laughs> Finally, everybody on verse 6. And he answered and spoke to me, saying, This is the word of Jehovah to Rebels, saying, Okay, Zechariah was involved with Zerubbabel, with Joshua, they were, and the children of Israel. They're in the process of rebuilding the temple of God. They got frustrated. They got opposed. Uh, they stopped building for a while. And, and uh, the prophets had to come in. And God raised up Haggai and he raised up Zechariah to come in and speak to the people and to encourage them uh, to build and continue to build. But Zechariah, if you remember from a few weeks ago, we saw Zechariah was a priestly prophet. And he saw amazing things, profound things, deep things concerning Christ, uh, which were very crucial for the building up of God's house. And he spoke these things. He prophesied these things. And the angel tells Zechariah here, what these things are, I'm, I want to tell you, it's not by might, it's not by power, but it's by my spirit. Amen. It's by my spirit. Amen. This is how the house of God will be completed. This is how the house of God will be built up. It's by my spirit. Amen. This lampstand is the spirit. This is how the house of God will be built up. Well.